What is up YouTube? I'm about to demonstrate how you would normally perform a DaVinci Watch video. The best way to watch it anyway. So when you start the video up, it starts up normal. What is up YouTube? Oh look at that, there goes my handsome face. Okay, so go down to the description, right click on next to the link that says original video for syncing. Right click it, click open in new window. Once you click that, the original link is gonna appear in a new window. You're gonna stop the video Try to shrink it down as much as you can. And then you want to put the video in the corner as if you were watching a normal reaction. So once you start it, obviously the video is going to jump back if you're using it on a PC. You want to try to get to the point where I'm going to do the countdown. Normally do not skip the intro. There's a lot of important information in it, but I'm going to skip it for demonstration purposes. So once the... So once the... Uh, everybody's uh on point with once the countdown the starts now with that being said you ready the video is set to zero 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 everything is from also the very beginning to turn off the mute I'm about to the <laughs> countdown when i say go hit the play button three two one go there we go see this is friday night dinner season one episode one and it's that easy obviously you would have the sound simon bird so that is what you would normally do in order to get the reaction normally on a DaVinci watch. Oh, you know the head bopping doesn't stop. Okay, you can, you can stop with the head bopping. Thank, thanks, DaVinci. I appreciate it. That is how you do a DaVinci watch video. <laughs> if you have any more questions, go to the comment section and leave them there. Thank you. What is up, YouTube? I'm, uh, I'm Devon DaVinci, and I am going to be doing a reaction to Mandalorian. Also, by the way, I'm the leader of the Renaissance crew. If you want to know what the Renaissance crew is, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and it'll become obvious now for those of you that were wondering where last week's mandalorian episode was because that was one of the shows that i was going to continue even through my vacation um no well, vacation was really a rescheduling uh i i wasn't able to do it because of um how busy i was at the time so i decided i was just gonna take care of it on one of my off days and then I would do a reaction to the next one when it came out. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, today I've got some pretty interesting news. It seems like the overtime and stuff that I've been working up until this point is no longer a thing. So this week we won't have overtime. Hopefully next week and the weeks after we won't have overtime so I can get back to a somewhat normal schedule. <laughs> um recording videos when I want to possibly live streaming again so there's the thing also I have bought uh, cyberpunk 2077 it's sitting on my computer right now it's ready to play I haven't started it yet I have never played the game yet so I don't know if it's going to be something that is going to be great for me or not I know there's a lot of people that are like oh my god you don't know what you're about to get yourself into and who knows maybe I, I don't like for all I know, I could have a game sitting on my computer that is going to eat up every single second of my free time or what little free time I have now, and I don't even realize it yet. I could be I could be sitting on the greatest game I've ever played in my entire life, and it's just there. I've never played any cyberpunk game before in my life. I know nothing about the previous characters, so if I uh, do start playing it, which I do plan on live streaming at some point, if I can't live stream it, I'll just release uh, gameplay videos, but... If I can't uh, do that, then, I mean, if I do do that, just know if there's any references or anything like that to past games and it goes completely over my head and something awesome happens and it's like a callback and I don't get it, just know you're talking to a cyberpunk virgin. I have no idea what to expect from that game. It could be the greatest thing. It could be average to me. I don't know. I don't even know. Like... I'm so lost on Cyberpunk, I don't even know how the game is, like, played. I don't know what type of game it is. <laughs> like, I really don't. I don't know what type of game it is. So, I have no idea. But I got it, and we will see, you know, exactly what I will, like, what my impressions of the game will be. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this. This is the late, uh, as of the time of recording this, the latest, 
uh, Star Wars episode. Uh, by the time this comes out, I believe the next one will have come out. So uh, this will be the second latest. The, the one where a particular character makes an appearance. I am familiar because this character's name was trending when this episode came out. At the time, I didn't know what the trending was about. I didn't click on it because I didn't want to be spoiled. Um, since then, I have learned that this character does actually appear in the video. It wasn't just a trending name. Um, and from what some friends have told me, the character was done proper justice. So that's the thing. I'm going to be looking for that. Uh, don't know what to expect. Don't know anything the character did in the episode. I just know the character is going to be in it. So let's go ahead and jump into this and see what it has to offer. For those of you that are unfamiliar with DaVinci Watch videos, uh, go to the beginning of the video and watch the tutorial. It'll explain how to follow along with me. Um, for those of you that are already familiar, I'm going to do the three second countdown. When I say go on zero, we will hit the play button at the same time and we should all be synced up. So let's do this. Three, two, one. Drink of the day is water, as always. I remember this. Oh yes, Ahsoka, I love it. I know she's not a, a one-time character. I know it. Now, who is this Jedi that's going to... He's going to reach out to, I'm wondering. Stormtrooper uniforms. Looks nice. Reminds me of that squad in um, the single player mode of Battlefront 2. I forgot what they were called. Inferno Squad, something like that. He has his little ball thing. <laughs> Stop saying my name. Unless you're going to... Unless there's something coming along with that. Shut the hell up. There you go. Hmm. Oh. I love that they're going to Tython, not that um, 
bull crap that they had Luke sitting on in Last Jedi. Like the universe already have these places established. Why are you creating new places? <laughs> Like, we already have Korriban, and we already have Tython, and places like this. Why are you making new places? The hell is Exegol? <laughs> How much gas does that thing have? How do you control it? <laughs> That you just like think about it and it just does it. I don't know if I don't think he, I don't think he knows what he's supposed to be doing. He's going to eat that thing. Oh! Oh! The slave one! Oh! Oh! I didn't expect him to make a, a, an appearance this soon. I mean, let me check myself. <sighs> I've checked myself. I'm not excited anymore. As you can tell. Oh, too late. He started. This man is going ultra instinct. Woof. Nam yo ho renge kyo. Well, don't worry. You don't have anything to worry about with uh, him being there. Slave one, baby. And here comes Boba. Here comes Boba. Here comes Boba. Battle of the Mandalorians. Now let's see if they do him justice.
Um, uh, he has protection. A chance to see Boba, like, a reason, I guess. That's cool. Like, a humanized version of Boba. What the hell is this? This man is about to come Mystic Grogu. Moff Gideon is going to get off and then Grogu is going to come out with like the serious look on his face and Gideon is going to be like you think you can hurt me and Grogu is going to be like hurt you I want to kill you watch why well, bring out the the the, the C team It's that simple. <laughs> one day, one day they're going to have some media that uh, presents the stormtroopers as an actual threat. I, I have a feeling one day they're going to show they're going to show the stormtroopers as like. Serious. <laughs> Boba Fett's out here slapping 
stormtroopers with a damn ankylosaurus tail. Oh. Like I said, so much for your damn armor. You even miss with mortars. How how sucky are you guys? I mean mortars are harder to aim, but still. Oh, you shot him in a dick. You don't shoot him in a dick. Well, I thought she was going to, like, run behind it and use it as, like, moving cover. Mm. Mm. Damn. Mm. Boba Fett is pissed. Now he's about to go get his armor. No more negotiating. Now when Boba gets his armor, it's a wrap. Oof. Oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Why isn't she in Galaxy of Heroes? Oh, here comes some more. And they're probably the A team. These am. Dude, they're stormtroopers. You can handle this. Just take them out. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to get him off. Pause. Hey, he's done already. And he went to sleep. He took a nap. He's all tuckered out. Look, she just took out four of them like that. How does that thing know which ones to attack and which ones not to attack? I don't get why the heroes never have any crowd control weapons. Where's your grenades? Flashbangs, EMTs, something. There we go. There we go. There we go, Boba. Yeah, Boba was thinking. Dzam, did you have to backhand him, Boba? Oof! Just punched the shit out of him too. Ah! Oh, this is awesome. Oh yes, there you go, Boba. W welcome back. Welcome back. The man has knee rockets. The man has rockets coming out of his knees.
That was definitely a, a showcase of Boba Fett that should have been there in Return of the Jedi. That should have been there for Return of the Jedi. Now I'm calling for a Galactic Legend version of Boba Fett. This one right here. Galactic Legend Boba Fett with knee rockets. Mm. <laughs> Mando's like, why can't my armor do that? <laughs> why can't my armor do that? Oh, wow. That, that's just petty. <laughs> that's petty as hell. <laughs> uh, that's some Goku Black levels of petty. <laughs> uh, that's so wrong. Are they trying to capture the kid? Dark Troopers. Not Death Troopers, Dark Troopers. So they have two different variations of Black Storm Troopers. And I don't know which one is stronger between the Dark Troopers and the Death Troopers. I'm going to guess they're stronger. <laughs> I might just take a guess and say they're stronger than Death Troopers. They look like cyborgs from Mortal Kombat mixed with, uh, what the hell are they called? Al Gores, El Gores or whatever from Killer Instinct. What the hell was the name of the robots? Val Gore. It's like mixing the robots from both those games into one. They took the kid. <clears throat> I was going to say Boba, help, but Boba doesn't help nobody. Oh, never mind. Boba's going to help them not take the baby. Boba doesn't care. Oh, well, damn, I guess time in the Sarlacc pit kind of changed Boba Fett around a bit. I'm surprised they let you get that close to him. They got Grogu. And your ship has been destroyed. If we see a scene with Mando, Boba, and Ahsoka attacking a, a Imperial capital ship... I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy.
We get Mando for the rest of the season. Woo! <laughs> Mando for the rest of the Well, Mando. Uh, Boba. Boba. I said Mando. See, I'm so used to Boba Fett being the only Mandalorian. <laughs> we get... Damn. Oh, they're bringing back uh, Bill Barr. Bill Burr. <laughs> Bill Barr. <laughs> uh, he's a comedian, not an attorney general. Did you have to turn so flamboyantly? I just turn around like a normal human. I like Moff Gideon's theme. I'd be expecting like the beat to drop like boom, ch boom, ba boom, ch doom, ba boom. Ch <laughs> this man. Oof. <laughs> you don't yet know the power of the dark side. I shall now go nap nap. Do not disturb my slumber. They should have just made him a grand moth instead of just a moth. Unless you're telling me that there's a certain grand moth that still exists and didn't die on the Death Star. I could be wrong, but you never know. Alright, well, that's it. But Great episode. Love the episode. Right up there with the last one with Ahsoka. It's up there. Boba Fett whooping ass, showing off martial arts abilities and shit. I loved it. I loved every single second of it. And then when he got his armor and was just showcasing all his damn weapons, he had knee rockets. The man had knee rockets. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, see, I play Galaxy of Heroes. There's a lot of, uh, right now there's, they're introducing a lot of Mandalorian related characters and I think they pretty much included all the ones that were going to come in with the last update. I want to see a new Boba Fett with that armor and make him a galactic legend. Uh, right now Jedi and Sith characters have their galactic legends. Uh, you got Rey, you got 
Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you got Grandmaster Luke Skywalker, and you got a uh, uh, Sith Eternal Emperor uh, Palpatine. We need someone for the other teams. And what better character that would make the bounty hunting team a top tier, 100% relevant team than a galactic legend Boba Fett? And I heard they were going to be bringing in the best car armored Mandalorian. So that, the Boba Fett, all of it works out so well. Come on now. Give us Boba Fett. Give us the new Boba Fett with the knee rockets. Give me the Boba Fett with the knee rockets. Oh, man. Uh, and I, um, the weapon that Mandalorian uses, the little one with the little things that go flying and whee, it had a name. It was like the Whistling Willies or whatever the hell it was. Whistling Willows. Boba Fett's weapon used to be called the Bee's Knees because they, they look like bees when they fly out. They come out of his knees. The, the, the pun is right there. Just do it. I don't care how lame it seems. Boba Fett's badassness nullifies any weakness that comes with that name. Call it the Bee's Knees and, and that's the end of it. Paint the damn rockets yellow and black. It markets itself. Right there. Bam. Um, that was badass. That was so badass. I look forward to the next episode so badly. Um, I will have the next episode up tomorrow because I'm trying to do them uh, when they come out. So even though by the time you watch this, the next episode will likely be out. Because I'm going to be working at the time, I'm not going to be able to do a reaction to it. So I have to wait until after I get off work. And that means I won't be able to record it until, or it won't be released until the next day. So tomorrow will be my reaction to the next episode. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know what you think about Star Wars in general. Just anything, go in the comment section and free your mind. Let yourself express everything that you feel. And I would love to see what you guys have to say. Um... I, I don't know what else to add. Like, it's Boba Fett, man. <laughs> it's Boba Fett. And like I said, Ahsoka isn't going to be just a one-off character. They're going to bring her back. You don't get Rosario Dawson in and paint her all up in prosthetics and makeup and all this other stuff just to do a cameo and then leave. Or not cameo, but just do a guest spot and leave. Like, this is a character that needs to be in the damn show. I want to see her come back and be one of the uh, the Jedi to help bring Grogu back. And don't forget about the message that Ahsoka said that Grogu was going to reach out through the Force and uh, it's possible that a, a Jedi would come looking for him. So there's still this mysterious Jedi out there that we don't know who it is that could appear alongside Ahsoka and Boba Fett and Mando and uh, Kira Dunn, um, chances are they're probably going to bring Carl Weathers' character in too. Uh, so we have a mysterious Jedi to look forward also. I don't know who the Jedi is going to be. It could be anybody. It could be Mace Windu. Mace freaking Windu. Imagine that. If they could bring Boba Fett back from a Sarlacc uh, stomach, they can bring Mace Windu back from losing an arm, being electrocuted, and thrown out a window. Like The dude can come back. And if he does come back, if they bring Samuel L. Jackson, well, now that I think about it, Samuel L. Jackson, even though The Mandalorian is a great series, it seems like it might be a little bit low budget for him. But bring bring Samuel L. Jackson into it. Why not? It'll be just a one-time episode. Just bring him with the last episode as like uh, the cavalry and just have him just do work on the Empire I want to see it happen, please. I mean, it's, it's possible it could be other Jedi too. I don't think it's going to be Yoda. Um, the way Ahsoka described it, it's going to be a living Jedi. So either Mace is still alive or, let's see, living Jedi, living Jedi. All right, I'm thinking Mace. 
If they're gonna bring Kiati Mundi into it, oh shit, Kiati Mundi, oh man, he he's pissed off about what happened with the Wookies, and he he's about to go off on the entire Empire for everything they did to the to the to the Wookie planet of Kashyyyk. It, it's over. Um, what else they have? Uh, I think Shock T is canonically killed. I think she died in the uh, Order sixty six raid. Anakin, I think, took her out. I think I remember hearing some about deleted scenes from episode three where Anakin kills Shakti in the uh, Jedi library, Jedi, where they keep the um, holocrons and stuff. Um, now I'm trying to think of what Jedi's they could bring back. The only thing I could think of is Mace Windu. That's the only one I could really think of. Unless they're going to bring Cal Custis or whatever his name is in here. <laughs> like uh, a video game to show uh, connection. Because, I mean, they have Tython here. Um, and then after he leaves, the, after he his appearance ends, it just has a big promo for the next uh, <laughs> Fallen Order game. <laughs> just uh, buy Fallen Order 2 today. <laughs> Surprise release. But um, yeah, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Um, well, I will see you tomorrow for the follow up for this episode. Hopefully, there's gonna be some great uh, surprises and things like that. I will be here taking it all in, and I hope you guys will be there with me. But until then, I'm gonna get the deuces, and I'm signing out. Deuces. <laughs>